Is it my fault that I was abused? Well, no, of course not. It, but I have to clarify some things here with this question. Firstly, as a child, it's never your fault that you're abused, ever. Under any circumstances, no matter what the abuse occurred and no matter what the adults around you who abused you told you. Mm -hmm. And even if the person who abused was a child, it's still not your fault. Abuse occurs because somebody chose to be unloving to you. Somebody else other than you chose mm -hmm. to be unloving to you. That's why abuse occurs as a child. Now, where I need to clarify is what happens as an adult. Yep. Now, if as an adult we are getting abused or we feel we are being abused, then yes, there are some things that we need to look at mm -hmm. with regard to our own inside of ourselves that may be causing or attracting such abuse. And when I say causing or attracting such abuse, what I mean is that there are issues within us about love that we don't understand where we are not being loving to ourselves at the soul level that is causing other people to believe that they can get away with abusing us. Yeah. See, as an adult, unfortunately, because abuse occurs generally as a child, quite frequently, in fact, as mm -hmm. a child, most of these children grow up to be adults who are still really children. Yes. And the problem with that is that they still act like a, an abused child. Yeah. So because they act like an abused child, they don't believe that they have any power to prevent abuse. Mm -hmm. And because they don't believe they have power to prevent abuse and they haven't worked through the issues of self-love surrounding abuse, they often attract abuse as a result of their unwillingness to go through those groups of emotions. Now, that's not their fault still. The, the fault of the abuse is always in the abuser. Mm -hmm. But we must see that if we are refusing to address childhood abusive issues, there is a high likelihood as an adult we will still attract abusive adults. Yeah. And the reason for that is, is that we are really still like an abused child that hasn't felt its feelings about it. And so the adults who see us don't see us as an adult who has self-awareness, the ability to prevent abuse and attack. They see us as an, a child still, because emotionally we still are. Mm -hmm. So they feel us as a child still ready to accept abuse. And this is why a lot of adult people who have had abusive childhoods still get abused during their adult life. Because the thing coming out of their soul is that I'm still a child who's been abused, right? Yeah. And, and so every adult around them who's sensitive to that goes, okay, I have an opportunity here. This is their, these are the, the damaged and very unloving people who believe that they are able to take these opportunities and they are very evil in terms of their nature because they are willing to hurt other people. But they, they can scan whole groups of people and go, that woman over there, even though she's 30, was abused as a child and I know I can get away with abusing her again. Mm. And I know that if I abuse her, she will probably blame herself, mm. right? And because she is oftentimes blaming herself from her childhood. And, and this is the part of the problem. She needs to go through the emotions where she felt like it was her fault, where she was told it was her fault and so forth, and come out the other side of that and she'll realise none of it was her fault, yeah. none of it. So, so while I'm making a comment initially that no, no abuse is your fault, ever, even if you're an adult or a child and you're being abused by other people, none of it is your fault. There is this qualifying thing that we need to state, and that is that as an adult, if we're still getting abused, then we've got to examine the reason why, because it is partly to do with what we've not let go of. Yeah. Because the people around us believe that they can abuse us still, even though we're an adult. See, as a child, they could get away with it. When many of the abusers know that it's quite easy to abuse a child, a child's not big, a child doesn't have the, you know, much of a will to fight, you can manipulate and frighten a child quite easily, you can make a child believe things, particularly when it's in the early ages, under seven years of age, you can make a child believe things that, that later it would never accept as truth. And the problem for that child who has been abused is that child grows to be an adult with all the distorted viewpoints of the child. Yeah. Because all of the emotions are still locked up inside of the child. Mm -hmm. and, and unless the adult survivor of abuse 
actually allows themselves to go through the emotions associated with abuse, they will still act like a, a child survivor of abuse. Yeah. Because the, the emotions are locking them up at the age. And this is a principle relating to the soul and how it functions. Mm -hmm. Every time you have a suppressed emotion, this suppressed emotion that's not allowed its full experience is locked up at the age that it was suppressed. Yeah. So if that age happens to be three, you will act like you're three when you're in the same situation. If the age was five, you will act like you're five when you're in the same situation. And unless you release the emotion, you will continue to do that. Mm -hmm. And it will be a great struggle for you otherwise to, to try to fight that process. Now, so there's, there's some very important things that we've said here, I think, and I just need to go over. One, no, never is the abuse your fault. If you are being abused by someone else, it is never your fault. Whether you're an adult, whether you're an or, adult a or a child. Yeah. It is the fault of the person who's choosing to abuse you mm -hmm. and is a choice that they are making for whatever reasons, we, and we probably can go into those reasons at another time, but they're making a choice to avoid all their own painful reasons and, and all, of, all of their unloving behaviour and all of their you know, evil actions and they are choosing to abuse you. And so it's not your fault ever. However, if we are getting abused as an adult, as an adult then we need to look at the fact that we still really think of ourselves as a child. Mm -hmm. And that means that we have quite a lot of childlike emotions locked up within us mm -hmm. that we are refusing to feel and release. And so it would benefit us immensely if we went through either with the aid of a therapist or a helper or even by ourselves with God, and we, if we went through these emotions, these childlike emotions, and then come out the other side of them. And the reason you're making the distinction between the adult and the child in that situation is that the, ch the adult now has the free will choice to actually experience more of that emotion than they perhaps did when they were a child and abused. Yes, um, they definitely have, well, they have a lot more than that, yep. actually, not just the exercise of their free will. And uh, I suppose we need to qualify it in today's society. Um, in, in the Western world, every single adult is protected by law, generally, yep. right? So we do have the opportunity to resist abuse mm -hmm. by law, yep. right? Unfortunately, in other countries, some third world countries and, and less developed countries from a, from a love perspective, yeah. that's not always the option. So, for example, if you're a woman living in the Middle East, um, abuse at the hands of men is almost sometimes a, a bit of a way of life. Yeah. You accept certain forms of abuse and the law does not protect you. Mm -hmm. Now, under those circumstances, um, there's little you can do aside from feeling about every event. Yep. Does that make sense? Uh, and, and releasing every event that occurs. Now, if you release every event that occurred during your childhood, there'd be a far less likely that these events would then occur as an adult. Yeah. Um, however, if you don't release the events that occurred during your childhood, it's far more likely the events will continue as an adult because the adults around you will see you as a child that they can still abuse, mm -hmm. even though you're in an adult body they will still feel you as a child who can still be abused. Mm -hmm. Now, in the Western world, and most, like, so we're talking now Europe, the Americas generally, you know, Australia here um, and other countries that are a bit more developed, have laws protecting every person, yeah. children and adults, uh, against abuse. Now, under those circumstances, if abuse is still occurring to you and you're an adult, it is because of this primary thing that you need to address inside of yourself, that you are allowing abuse to occur. Yeah, yeah. And, and there is a reason why you do that, and that is because you still think of yourself as a child who's been abused. So you're saying the reason you're allowing it is that you have suppressed childhood experience? Correct. And how do you begin to disallow it? By feeling and releasing the childhood experience. Yeah. So you have to go through the emotions that you're resisting that, that were part of the childhood abusive experience. Mm -hmm. That's the mm -hmm. only way you can protect yourself, really. Yeah. So, so this is why many people, for example, we often see many people who have been sexually abused as a child get raped as an adult. Mm -hmm. And the reason why this occurs is because 
there is an openness inside of the soul of that person through the abuse of the child, which has never been patched up, never been repaired through their experiencing of the emotions associated with it. And usually parents or other people around them don't allow them to experience those emotions. So they've, they've mm -hmm. you know, during their childhood, they've got good reason to not experience mm -hmm. a lot of these emotions. But now as an old adult, they've chosen to continue to suppress these emotions. And unfortunately, that's going to attract abusive men who then think that they can get away with abusing the adult woman yep. or raping her, in other words. And, and it's not her fault that she's being raped because it's the abusive man's fault that she's raped. But there is this feeling they feel from her which they, that they can get away with it. And that's something that she can patch up within herself. Yeah. Yeah. And so that feeling will then alter the the feeling of those childhood events will alter the feeling coming from that person's soul. Yeah. But no doubt would also cause her to start to make some different decisions. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So as she released some of these childhood feelings, she would start to feel like she has power, that she has uh, self-responsibility, she's not going to enter sexually dangerous situations anymore. See, children that have had sexual abuse, for example, often as adults enter sexually dangerous situations, which, yeah. which then make them more sub subject to further abuse. Mm -hmm. uh, where once she's healed those particular childhood experiences, she wouldn't be attracted to those same situations anymore. Yeah. She wouldn't be drawn to pandering, to fear, to... to to people who are angry anymore. She wouldn't, you know, place herself in situations that could be potentially dangerous to her person or, sex or, or sexually or physically. Mm -hmm. And as a result, she would be far more protected uh, as a result of those particular things. On top of that, because she doesn't have the underlying emotional reason inside of her, her spirit guides and spirit friends can also help assist her protection now more rather than she just going along with the normal adult way of things. So, so for example, if a child who, a, ch a person has been abused in their childhood and then they have friends in their adult life that say, let's go along to party and the, and the child, the hurt child's going, oh, I think this is a pretty dangerous party. You know, there's, that, there's people who are abusive here. If, if she stays the child, she'll stay there. Yeah. Uh, but if she's an adult now, she would go, oh, okay, no, I, I'm noticing this is a dangerous place and I need to walk out of here and just get going. And, yeah. and it doesn't matter to her whether her friends stay or not. She, she would leave, right? So this is where we make changes and, and as a result we're far more protected. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, so we can't assume that if we have been harmed, abused as an adult, that, that, that there isn't something that we need to work on personally because there is. Yeah. Firstly, we need to release the feelings associated with the abuse that occurred as an adult, but we also need to feel about the childhood experience that, that obviously caused the adult who's, who's attacking me to potentially believe that they can get away with that attack. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you can be completely at one with God and still get abused. Mm. However, your response to the abuse will be completely different. All right, so you will no longer be saddened by it or, or you, you won't feel a huge Private. amount of pain about it. Uh, you won't feel like fighting it. You won't feel like, you know, there's a, and you won't feel bad about yourself yeah. as a result of it because you'll, you'll be able to appropriate the, the, the responsibility for the abuse upon the person who chose the act. Yeah. Um, so so there's not a, you can't say that a person who's not at one with God will never be, a person who's at one with God won't be abused. Mm -hmm. But you can say that they will, they will greatly lessen their chances of being abused uh, because there's no longer any emotions in them that relate to the inner child that's hurt. Yes. And so, so the people around them will no longer believe they could get away with it. Mm -hmm. as easily as they maybe would do otherwise. Yeah. So there's a lot of things to work right? There's a lot we could talk about abuse. And, and to be honest, I think when it comes to uh, our discussions, F FAQs about sexual matters, one of the sexual matters we'll, we will be discussing as a part of that series of FAQs is the subject of sexual abuse and probably physical abuse and other forms of abuse uh, in, in the same time So because they similar things apply to all forms of abuse and uh, and we can give more information about that then mm -hmm. but it's very important that a person does not feel that they are to blame for being abused yeah a very basic fundamental truth you are mm -hmm. never to blame for being abused yeah. ever yeah. 